Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new around here, my name is Hannah and welcome to our channel and please make sure to smash the subscribe button down below to be part of our family and our journey in our lives in America. Anyway, welcome back and today I haven't vlogged since the cruise, it kind of feels a bit weird. Today I'm actually headed over to Disney because my friends are here, have been here for three weeks whilst we were away they looked after Nala and yeah today is their last day and they are doing the four part challenge however I'm not doing the four part challenge I am doing the challenge called hey the vlog's on any need I'm not doing the four part challenge I'm doing the challenge called whatever part they're in I'm just gonna head over there also attempted to curl my hair today literally about 10 minutes ago look it's already flat like, what's that all about like what is that all about like hello just wasted an hour of my time cutting my hair for it to go flat but it, in case you couldn't tell we're in a jumper it is so can you stop i'm trying to film man it is so cold like i don't know what's happened since kind of yesterday it has gone really really cold so it's like jumpers jeans i'm kind of loving it i'm like yeah i'm feeling that vibe like i'm getting into it i want to wear some jumpers i've missed out on jumpers so i'm, I'm back in the game like, i've got so many jumpers i bought these on the cruise i need to wear them so bring on the cold weather just come at me like i'm ready for this weather but anyway we're off to the parks before that however i need to head to the shops to uh, get a couple more Christmas presents because our friends are kindly taking them home for us because posting stuff out here is a small fortune as if you've followed us for a while, you will know posting stuff back to the UK is expensive. So yeah, I am not doing that. I've already been there once this week. I freaking hate the post office here because they just they just don't like me. She shouted at me because I hadn't sent the envelope up in every area of the, of the envelope and she was just really aggy and i just don't need that so and it costs 18 dollars i repeat 18 dollars to post a letter not even a parcel a letter 18 dollars so i'm not about that so i'm giving it to my friends and they're going to take it home and yeah i need to get a couple more christmas presents it's my friend's son's birthday so i need to give them that they've got a lot of stuff to take back for us but they're kindly enough to have offered to obviously take it back with them so i'm off to bath and body works if you're watching this and you know you're gonna have a present from us, just forget I said that. But that's where I'm headed, I just need to get one more thing, and also they've got like an offer on shower gel, and I got shower gel for the first time uh, about like a month ago, life changing. If you haven't ever tried Bath and Body Works shower gel, highly recommend it, it's amazing. But anyway, I'm off to the shops. I'm not gonna vlog the shops, because I'm literally like, I'm in one of them today. I've got to get my groove on, got to do it, and then got to go to Disney. So the next time you will see me will be when I get to Disney. But we are, who knows what park I'm going to go to, because I don't know, it will be wherever they are. So let's get the show on the road. Say hi to the guys, because obviously they haven't seen you for a while, because we had the cruise, didn't we? So how are you? You okay? You all good? You all good in the hood, yeah, yeah? So I'm back from the shops and also I recurled my hair before I went so it does look a little bit better than early as you can see but it just doesn't look great I think it's because my hair is all one colour so that when you curl it it just looks like a hot mess rather than like nicely curled I don't know who knows I mean I don't know and also my makeup looks terrible on the camera but in real life it actually looks quite nice so don't know really I'm not feeling myself today you know 10 things i hate about my 10 things you didn't know about me is i hate myself all the time and i'm really not feeling great i was like i'm gonna really make an effort put makeup on do my hair and i look awful in the camera but when i look in the mirror i'm like oh you look okay but no the camera is bringing me down anywho i don't know what's wrong with me today i'm like on a buzz but i'm wondering if it's because i haven't vlogged for so long vlogged for so long that I've got like this energy that I just like, oh, I need to get out. Anyway, got some bargains at the shop. My friend's little boy, two things which are amazing. Like you would never get what you can get out here for kids. And it's so affordable and cheap. Like what I got him, if you bought them at home, it, you just wouldn't get them because it would cost you too much. Whereas it was just a bargain. Bath Body Works had a deal on, but I'm not going to tell you what I got because I know Lou's mum watches these videos and she'll know then what we bought. But yeah, buzzing. Got some great bargains. And it was ten dollars off 30 as well so all in all they had deals on and then there was a voucher for ten dollars off if you spend 30 so i was living the dream really but anyway i'm back i just want to show you what i've got for lunch bum, 
bum, bum. I'm not going to touch the plate because I just warmed it up in the oven. Stopped off and grabbed myself a Subway. I'm really into Subway since we moved here. I don't know why, but I got rotisserie chicken with chipotle sauce, olives, onions, etc. And the one and only, as you know, if you watch me all the time, Roysters. Yeah, boy. My friends bought me over 12 packs when they came out three weeks ago, and I've already had three. So I'm a bit stressed already because I'm nearly going to like, I've eaten them in about two weeks at this rate. And obviously, I can only get them from England. And I don't, people have asked if like, they want me, if they can bring them over for me. But I feel bad, firstly, asking you guys to bring, like, people that I speak to, bringing them over for me. And secondly, I don't want to put them in the case because, like, they'll just be a mess, won't they? They'll all be crummy. You don't like that, do you? So I brought mine in my hand luggage. My friends brought theirs in their hand luggage. So they're basically as good as they would be if you bought them from the supermarket. Anyway, I'm going to eat my samoage because. Hello, how are you? Don't lick. The guys don't want to see the licking, do they? Because she's going to eat it, basically. And she's still licking, guys. She's still licking. But our friends, I don't know if I've told you this, our friends were here, and literally the first night they stayed, she, like, went upstairs with them, and they came down the next day before we left the cruise, and they were like, we think she's got acid reflux, you know, because... It just seems like very acidy behaviour, like acid reflux behaviour, which is super interesting because I've said that for forever, basically, and nothing seems to get rid of it. So it's another opinion that she thinks they think she's got acid. So uh, she's got the vets on Tuesday. I'm just going to go in and be like, look, mate, I'm putting my foot down now. I want something for acid reflux. Stop trying to fob me off saying that there's no acid reflux because I definitely need to give her something for acid reflux. So anyway, the dog's annoying me because she's trying to eat my food or attempting to, so I'm gonna go and I will see you all at Disney. Oh my gosh, this is totally unflattering light because you can see like the, um, what do you call it, the shadow of the camera. But yeah, I just got here. It literally took me an hour and a half to get here. The traffic on the road was absolutely horrific. But anyway, I've just parked at Epcot and I think we're actually gonna walk to Hollywood Studios. So I will show you, but yeah, we parked here and the first stop is Hollywood Studios. So I will show you the Christmas tree at Hollywood Studios when we get there, because obviously it's a bit of a trek along uh, the old boardwalk to get to Hollywood Studios. So I will show you when we get there and I won't have this horrific camera shadow on my face, which looks really flattering. Also, my hair is just not holding the curls. I'm gonna try again tomorrow with some mousse and uh, yeah, hopefully it will look better tomorrow. I don't know, this is just not very flattering and it kind of is depressing because it took me like an hour to curl it. For it then to like not last very long is kind of like meh. Anyway, let's go to Epcot slash Hollywood Studios slash Boardwalk slash everywhere. So pardon the hair, still haven't tied it back up. I'm, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm feeling it today. Like I'm just gonna, it's a new me making an effort. Tomorrow it's gonna look even better. Anyway, we were walking along to uh, Hollywood Studios and we've just come across the beach in Rock Club. Me and Lou actually came here like two days ago to look if the Christmas decorations were up and they weren't. However, basing on da -da -da this, yes, yes. I'm gonna say, oh, it's blurry. Are you gonna unblur for us? There you go, based on this, I'm gonna guess, yes, I can see the carousel. The, the Christmas decorations are now up. So literally we were here two days ago, nothing. Today, boom. So you've got all these like cute little um, things wrapped around the lamppost, but they're all like beachy looking. Look, it says up there, beach house. Very nice, very nice. And inside, the carousel. Anyway, yes, look at the carousel, woohoo. It's so cute. Oh, Christmas tree. This is great. Look at it. Good times. Hi, guys. Oh, it is made of gingerbread. It is made of gingerbread. Hold on. Did you know this is made of gingerbread? Oh, gingerbread carousel pin signing. What does this mean? Hopefully there's a pin made out of gingerbread. If so, that would be a fabulous. There you go. Look at this. Oh, is there? There's 19 hidden Mickeys. Let's find one. We can't leave until we find one. Found one. Yes. Found it. I win. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm going to say no. They're not very hidden. If you see another one. Oh, is that one there? See that where it says Donald Duck and it's like a faded one. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, like there. Well done. And on the reef. Oh, gosh, what are we on now for? This is a fun field vlog, guys. Keep 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 awake. Don't fall asleep. <laughs> Good times. Oh, this tells you what's actually been put into it. 
There's been 110 pints of eggs. Can you see? Ah, it smells delicious. And then these, I will show you these as well, these beach themed Christmas trees. Look, seahorses, starfish, loving this. But also, we will be going to the yacht club as well, so hopefully their trees will be a bit different. Very nice. So we've now come along to the yacht club. Look at this tree. Oh my gosh. I think I've said that about four times today. Look at the boats. How cute. Loving them. Oh, look, there's binoculars. Very nice. This is beautiful. This hotel is amazing. And then they've got this little train set up over here. Little Christmas tree. Christmas town. Oh, there you go. There's a the train. It's not moving. Oh, look. Little Mickey Mouse ear shops. There's the Cape May Cafe. Very nice. So, the train has decided to start as we were about to leave. Here it comes. Choo choo! <laughs> Just entertain myself sometimes. Oh. I find the noise very relaxing. There we go. And go. We're in Hollywood Studios. Look at this. Is it going to focus? Yes. It's, this is the most Christmases of Christmases. Especially when people have got coats on as well today. It makes it even more Christmassy. But look at all the lights. And the Christmas music, Father oh, Christmas up there. Oh, oh wow, look, and they've got a projection of uh, the Christmas wreath on the um, Chinese theatre. That's really cute. But look at this. Oh, wow. Okay, now I feel good. I was kind of feeling sad after editing the cruise vlog today because I was like, oh, I really missed the cruise, but now I'm here. I feel better because this is amazing. Now we'll walk down and look at the Christmas tree. So these are the Christmas cocktails this year. I think I'm going to go for the top one today and then come back and have the other one. Yeah, I'm all over Christmas on the beach. I can't really talk to somebody at Dump Coffee over this music, so I have to put talk anyway. Mm. It literally just tastes like pineapple juice. Like on holiday, it's delicious, very lovely. This is not doing me any justice. But yeah, highly recommend this one. It's Christmas on the beach. There's another two. One's got the spray for the gumball, which also tastes really, really good. And the other one. Yeah, I'll try them all. Before the end of the year, I'll try them all and say when they're right. But this one is highly good. Highly recommend Christmas on the beach. It's $13, I think. But yeah, very good. Okay guys, so we've come to check out the Christmas tree at Hollywood Studios before we leave, which is in the lake in the middle. Look how cute. Again, every tree to me looks like it's kind of wonky. I don't want to kill the vibe and I don't want to ruin it, but does that look a bit on the wonk to you guys? But also, I'm loving these little floating ball balls all around. They're really cute. Look, I don't think they're actually attached either to me. They look like they're moving. I don't know, but there's like some big baubles in the front there. It's really nice. I feel like this is actually, I haven't been to Magic Kingdom yet, but this one so far out of Epcot and here has been to me the most Christmassy. But it's lovely. How oh, lovely. But I'm not going to actually watch the show on Tower of Terror today because I feel like I want to say something to watch with Lou, which is kind of soppy, but I won't want to see it all without Lou, so I'm saving the Tower of Terror show for when I come back with Lou. But yeah. We now need to walk back to Epcot because it's half seven. Can you see me? Yes, you can. Um, I need, need to walk back to Epcot because my car is there. Where is Sophie? Oh, I need to walk back to Epcot because my car is there and the park shuts at nine and it's already half seven, so it's like a half hour walk to get back there. So that is the plan. Oh, the photo pass. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this part of the video with the Christmas tree and now it's time to walk back to the car and get home to the dog because Lou's out on Christmas drinks so I don't want the dog to be lonely so let's go and I'm back from Epcot 
God, it is flipping freezing. Like, I'm not even joking you. It's not just cold, it's freezing. It's 10 degrees. It is 10 degrees. I just took the dog out for a walk and I wore my winter coat. I mean, my actual, like, my coat I used to wear when I walk, like, live back in England in the winter. I just wore that to take the dog out. I mean, it is, it's just before 10, but, and it's 10 degrees. To me, I can't remember what 10 degrees at home used to feel like and what kind of coat I used to wear. I used to wear a really thin, like, smart kind of suit long jacket when I used to work in London. And I always used to say to myself, I wouldn't wear my big coat until it was like under 10. Well, today, I wore it when it was 10. It was so flipping cold. Even like, I took the dog out and the dog wouldn't just stay out. I was like, come on, it's cold, we've got to get back in. Obviously, I was happy to walk her. We was out for like half hour, but it was still flipping freezing. But anyway, I'm home. Lou's still out with work, so I'm just going to stay out for a bit with the dog. Just chill, although she's getting very irritated again. So we're going to go back to her old food tomorrow. I'm going to go get her old food and try and get her back on like a level field. Because we're taking her to another new vet on the 10th of December. This will most probably be about the 9th vet she's been to, so happy days. We're going to another new vet. I mean, our videos could be sponsored by vets, to be honest, because we're technically an expats moving to Orlando, daily vloggers, Disney vloggers, vet channel. We could be a vet channel. So, you know, if only, eh? Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash a massive thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And also hit that subscribe button down below if you aren't already part of our channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm not going to do the banging of the camera anymore because I feel like I've seen people do it and people take the mickey out of it. So do I keep the good night with the hand on the camera or do I do something new? I'm not going to do it tonight. Leave me a comment down below how you think I should finish off these videos. How should I sign these videos off? Because I feel like maybe a lot of people do the smashing at the end of the camera and I want to be different. But I don't know what to do to end the video. So leave me your suggestions down below of how I can sign off my videos. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.